you are on the Valentic channel, where for every video I try to find something uh, catchy, interesting for you to smile. And uh, if I succeed, please press like and subscribe to the channel. I will be very happy to see you next time. Today I will tell you about the lady and the unicorn. Uh, surely everyone has seen this plot, if you, especially if you were in Paris. In all the souvenir shops, uh, in, on the pillows, in, uh, on calendars, uh, on magnets, there is a scene, a beautiful virgin and a snow white unicorn. What does that mean? Who is this girl? And did the unicorns really exist? I will tell you in the video. In the very center of Paris there is a museum of the Middle Ages, the museum called Cluny. It houses a collection of antiquities, and one of its most valuable exhibits is a series of tapestries, six embroidered carpets of the 15th century, which is called the Lady and the Unicorn. According to legend, the tapestries were commissioned by the groom for his beloved Claude Leviste. How is this known after six centuries? You are correct, no one will say for sure. But there is one detail. On most of the tapestries, there is part of the coat of arms, three silver crescents on a blue ribbon. It indicates belonging to the family La Vista. There are a great many interpretations of what this series means. Uh, some historians attribute Christian meanings to them, some alchemical. But there is one legend that no one disputes. A fierce unicorn can only be tamed by an immaculate virgin. And here is what for sure. Five tapestries are dedicated to human feelings. First tapestry is called Vision. Here the unicorn looks in the mirror. Second one is Hearing. The lady plays the organ. Third one is taste, the lady takes out sweets from a dish. Fourth one is smell, the lady is making a wreath of fragrant flowers and the monkey sniffs one of them. Fifth one is touch, the lady touches the unicorn's horn. And the sixth tapestry is called according to my soul desire, the lady puts a necklace in a chest. What does this mean? Some scientists claim that this is a symbol of rejection of passions, harmful for spirit. Some scientists say that it means love. What do you think? I hope very much that you enjoyed the video, that you uh, liked to look at those masterpieces of the Middle Ages, and that my video made you smile. If it is true, please press like, and subscribe to the channel. I will be very happy to see you in next videos. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the unicorns. Did they really exist? Undoubtedly. Surely, yes. See you next time.